What's up everyone, my name is Augustin, I'm a musician and a massive fan of the Beatles and I'm here in Strawberry Fields in Liverpool, the place that inspired the song Strawberry Fields Forever by the Beatles, my favorite band. As you probably know, this channel is dedicated to the Beatles, so if you love the Beatles as much as I do, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel, you're gonna love it. Right now I'm here in the garden of Strawberry Fields, I love this place, the energy is great and yes, this is the place where John Lennon used to play as a child. The place is open to the public since 2019 and they have really cool stuff like for example the piano that John Lennon used to record and compose Imagine. Strawberry Field is a Salvation Army property and visitor attraction in the Liverpool suburb of Walton. It operated as a children's home between 1936 and 2005. The house and grounds had originally been built as a private residence in the Victorian era, before being acquired by the Salvation Army in the 1930s. The house was demolished in 1973 due to structural problems and replaced with purpose-built units. After being closed as a children's home, the site has continued to be used by the Salvation Army for other purposes. The location gained worldwide fame following the release of the Beatles 1967 release Strawberry Fields Forever. The songwriter John Lennon had grown up nearby and played in the grounds of the home as a child. In time, the old red painted entrance gates at Beaconsfield Road became a place of pilgrimage for Beatles fans. In 2019, Strawberry Field was opened to the public for the first time, with an exhibition on its history, cafe and shop, alongside a training center for young people with special educational needs. The gates were stolen on the 11th of May 2000, allegedly by two men in a transit van. The gates were sold to an unsuspecting antiques dealer who never realized they were the actual gates from Strawberry Field. He returned them to the police upon request and they now stand in the grounds of Strawberry Field. The name of the home became famous in 1967 with the release of the Beatles single Strawberry Fields Forever, written by John Lennon who had grown up at nearby 251 Menlove Avenue. Baconsfield Road, where Strawberry Fields is located, is a side street from Menlove Avenue. One of Lennon's childhood treats was the garden party that took place each summer on the grounds of Strawberry Field. Lennon's aunt, Mimi, recalls, as soon as we could hear the Salvation Army band starting, John would jump up and down, shouting, Mimi, come on, we're going to be late. Lennon would often scale the walls of Strawberry Field to play with the kids in the Salvation Army home. Finally, they took him to his aunt Mimi, with whom he was living, and she told him that if he continued to do this, they would hang him. He continued anyways, thus the lyric, nothing to get hung about, Strawberry Fields forever. I really enjoyed the exhibition. Each visitor will enter into a world where nothing is real, plunging into the 1860s era where Strawberry Field began as a Victorian house before it transformed into a safe place where the Salvation Army supported and homed some of Liverpool's vulnerable youth. So this is Strawberry Field. This Julia Baird is John Lennon's half-sister yes. so and says as a little boy these gardens field. were so his escape. Here, John and the boys from Walton Village would come and climb over the wall. And sit here and, and sit in a tree and just watch the girls playing. <laughs> what do you think this place meant to John? I think it meant an awful lot to him. It was about his feelings and his go-to place of sanctuary when he was younger. And he actually called it my only psychoanalytic poem. It was named after a Salvation Army home for children. But unlike in the song, the real Strawberry Field wasn't forever. The home closed in 2004 for financial reasons. Now, thanks to new donors, it's been rebuilt. The famous red gates now reopening. It's a beautiful space to just walk around and... It is. A meditation garden where you can follow Lennon's footsteps. Um, Inside, an interactive museum, taking you back to the early years of Strawberry Field and Lennon's childhood. Visitors can then experience through archival footage, photographs and timelines the world where John Lennon played as a child and what happened behind the famous red gates. The media guide tour continues into the gardens where John Lennon played, providing inspirational thoughts and music for peace, love and self-exploration. The exhibition and garden tour contains over four and a half hours of meaningful and inspiring content. Through immersive multimedia interviews and memorabilia, this exhibition will give unprecedented insight into John Lennon's childhood and the inspiration behind one of the Beatles' most iconic songs, Strawberry Fields Forever. This intimate look at Lennon's time at Strawberry Field, as never seen before, is a must-see for any Beatles fan. With your visit or donation, you'll be helping to support young people with learning disabilities in the Liverpool area to overcome barriers to moving to employment, where nationally, only between 6 and 7% of working age adults with learning disabilities are in paid employment.
By far, the coolest thing you're gonna see in this exhibition is the piano that John Lennon used to record and compose Imagine. Uh, it's not the white piano that everyone knows because that's the piano they use for the video, for the movie, but um, this is the piano where he actually wrote the song and then he recorded the song using this piano as well. And the piano was donated by George Michael to this exhibition. In the exhibition, we can also find a Mellotron, which is the instrument that the Beatles use for the intro of the song Strawberry Fields Forever, um, for the flute sound. It's a very famous keyboard that uses tape to emulate other instruments. We can hear it, for example, in the song Wonderwall by Oasis. Um, the cello part is not actually a cello, it's just the Mellotron. The band Radiohead also made it very popular more recently. This here, I think you, most of you can probably see it. This is uh, a Mellotron. 60s instrument that uh, was the forerunner of the synthesizer and the idea was that it was it's tape loops it's uh, it's like a tape cassette you play one of the keys and it will play uh, string sounds or a trumpet or flutes we found other uses for it as have many musicians since and probably the most famous use uh, we as the Beatles put it to um, it was on the front of one of our records, which like, went like this. Let me take you down, cause I'm going to strawberry fields. The tickets are £11 and that will give you access to the exhibition and the gardens as well as the media guide tour. There is also a cafe and I thought it was really good so if you have some time you can have lunch there. After I finished recording this video I went to John Lennon's childhood home which is very close to Strawberry Field and I made a video visiting the house showing you inside the house and telling you everything about it so if you want to watch it I'm going to leave the link somewhere here. If you're a Beatles fan and you have the chance to visit Liverpool make sure you visit Strawberry Field. Okay, this is pretty much it for now. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And there's a PayPal link as well where you can donate some money. Every donation will be absolutely appreciated. And the most important thing is, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I have many, many videos about the Beatles. Um, videos visiting very famous Beatles locations, like for example, Paul McCartney's house in London or Abbey Road Studios in London. And now I'm making many, many videos here in Liverpool. So yes, if you love the Beatles as much as I do, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like my channel. Um, yes, please consider subscribing to you notified every time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching until the end and see you next time. Bye. Well I'm afraid that's just run out of time. Oh, I'm okay. really sorry. Oh, so much, um, Bye everyone. Thank you very thank much you. for if I give my heart to you I must be sure from the best